Welcome to Storytime, Episode 10. Now, this was recorded a week before its initial release. That's most likely going to happen for the rest of them for the series. Um, next, next week's guest will be Chris Reckless. With that out of the way, let's begin Storytime, Episode 10, with Genesis. Oh, no. Welcome to Storytime episode 10. And Ten. today we got Genesis. Jackiness. What's up, dude? My head still fucking hurts. Because you had to do something stupid. Shouldn't have let me do it. But why'd you do it? Because you didn't stop me. Get over here. I don't Get. wanna. I don't wanna. Fine. Self armor it is for you. Dude. Um. But what have you been doing since you've left in, um, in September or October, was it? Was, when did you leave? It was around ha Halloween. Halloween? Yeah. Yeah, what have you been doing since then? Sleeping. Sleeping? You yeah. You working or anything? Huh? You working or anything? Fuck no. Why, where'd you work at originally? Making these. And what you have to do down there? Make food. Make food. Make food. And, um... I hear a knock. Why? What, what led you to, like, leave McDonald's or whatever it was? Um, the manager sucked. Uh, why? You want to tell me, like, how what it's like down at McDonald's? Any stories or anything? <laughs> I this... super kicked a kumu in front of someone. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ed, Ed still works there, though, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but, we, um, we were happened? in the back, and I ran up and super kicked him, and... <laughs> Freaked a lot of people out. <laughs> it was actually really funny. I I actually enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Because I I don't know what it is, but one time I don't know I saw on a Facebook post it was a couple actually it was probably a couple years ago actually. Um, Joe took a picture of a urinal in the bathroom in McDonald's with someone shitting in it. Yep. Has anyone else done that before? Not that I know of. That's good. I know someone, you know, took a shit and then <laughs> stuck a fucking sweet teacup down in it to clog the toilet. This bricks fucked up. This town fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, you guys were, um, I think Billy mentioned it in the, um, episode 8, um, you guys were from, I think, Claysville? Yeah. Okay, so did you live with Billy for your entire life, or is it vice versa? Since, like, we were three. Okay, so you're stepbrothers then? Yeah. Okay. I thought you knew that. I did, I just wanted to make sure, but, um... I'm pretty sure the fans know that. But what if I didn't know that? You just <coughs> said you did. Well, poopy. Um, careful, Bailey, you don't want to get, get burn yourself, like Skylar Siles. Candle. Um, so what, I know Billy began wrestling, but why'd you start wrestling? Honestly, I don't even know. Why, because concussions? It's only been three. Twee! Three concussions, three cracked ribs. I broke my hand in about three different spots, have a dislocated shoulder. You've popped my shoulder out of place. I uh, know, I accidentally tapped you out that one day. I felt bad. But, oh well. First man to tap you out. I'm you shockingly. were the first person to ever tap me out. So, yeah. That was funny, to be honest. I don't even remember that match, honestly. That was it, it was a practice match. I know, that's, that, that's when you guys first started PGW. I remember that, because that's when I handed PGW. Like yeah, that's the match. Honestly, I got to give you credit for this because if it wasn't for that your match with Nick from July, honestly, I probably would still hate PGW. That match got me back into PGW because I absolutely hated PGW when it first started. Yeah, because was... the thing with Ed is, I was expecting them what when they started PGW was to as you know, new characters, mm -hmm. new storylines. Yeah, not bring back Missionary Keepy Nevermore, which by the way. Hashtag bring back Nevermore. 
Um, Nevermore is not coming back. It should. Do it for Raven. It, it should. I like that name a lot. Like, make it at least a... Missionary is just yeah, a sex position. Like, at least make it a minor show, like Fallout. But, like, um... Like, I didn't like... Because it's like, for example, I think Steven was going to change his name. Ed was going to change... Like, everyone was going to change their names. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as, like, one person said they weren't changing their name, everyone else is like, nope, fuck that, we're not changing our names. But yours, actually, you were, was it Al-Sahim? Al-Sahim. And that was a good, good name change, to be honest. Al-Sahim to Genesis. To Genesis, yep. Like, Apollo went to Rec- Chris Reckless. Um, Akumu went to Akumu. Butcher went to Sean Damien. Um, Jackson Brooks went to just his first name. Chaotic went to Osiris and went back to Chaotic. Yeah, that, that's a confusing one. Yeah. Did you enjoy Menace, though? No. You didn't? Why is that? No. I didn't, I didn't like I didn't like the tag team. I'd say out of everything that I've done in PGW, CWA, the most... the My favorite would be Bloodlust. I liked Bloodlust. Bloodlust was by far the, the greatest thing that I've done here. It was... I don't know. We just got bored and was like, "Hey, bloodlust." So. But how did that name come about? Um, the band, the Browning, has a song called "Bloodlust." Oh. And we actually used their song for a bit. We actually used "Bloodlust" for a bit. So yeah, that was that was that was a fun one. Yeah. Like, was there anyone else you wish you wanted to team with besides Billy or Austin, or is it you just wanted to stick with like Austin, all the way? Uh. Not. I just wanted to stick with Austin. Yeah. What do you th- what What are your thoughts on? Because I, I p- these past couple episodes, it's like I've heard, he's like dropped out of school. I don't know if you knew that. And yeah. A lot of people have haven't like liked him lately. I don't know. What's your relationship with Diablo or Austin currently? I mean, I don't really talk to him as much as you know we used to, but I mean, I'd say he's still a pretty good friend. So. Is there anyone else around? PGW, CWA that you actually like or are on good terms with? Uh, I, I like everybody here. I don't have a problem with a single person. Oh, that's a shock. Yeah. Thank God we ain't playing the dick game. Otherwise, that probably would be going 30 minutes long. Probably. Yeah, because Billy's episode, he won like 30 minutes long. But when you came in, I think, at, um, when did you first debut again in CWA? <laughs> I don't remember. Eight. eight okay. It was either eight I, I, or nine. I kept I kept, I can't th- I kept thinking ten. But um what happened around Missionary Nine? I don't know for sure what happened there. Because it's like you start out with that thing with Ryan, I remember that, but then it's like you were going to like Rumble. I at at that time, you know, I was I had mixed feelings about, you know, CWA and what everybody did here and and you know, as as I uh went on I just found it a lot more fun and I mean I have too much fun doing it you know concussions cracked ribs all that you know I continue to wrestle through all of it so like did you like even though you left well we'll probably talk about that later but even though when you left around um the fall or whatever did you were you glad about it because you were able to take a break and Uh, recuperate honestly I just at at that point you know I you know me and Steven were having our problems Uh, I I started having a lot of problems with a few people here but I mean that's all cleared up yeah but um, what exactly happened though like what led to you leaving uh Steven talking shit. Like, what was the stuff talked about? Like, what was he talking about? I don't remember. All I know is it was him just talking shit and, you know, it was So all you were just getting frustrated with yeah. him and stuff, and that yeah. led to your departure? Yeah. And then what about back in Missionary 11? What was what happened after? Actually, it wasn't that. I don't know. September. Like, was it the same scenario or something else? Uh, it was... L- like, you left and then came back for 22? I... Just then, I you know had I still had mixed feelings about what what we did here. Yeah, you know, at the time I wasn't. Uh, 
I didn't like it as much as I do now because, like, I watch how, you know, honestly, they weren't as brutal as I'd like at that moment. So, and then once barbed wire got introduced, thumbtacks, all that, I was like, yeah, I'm in. Okay. So you didn't think they, well, do you think they went too far, though? Because a lot of people, I think, had to leave because of it. Like, Z, George, nope. Daniel. No, they're just pussies. <laughs> Like, it's... I still love Georgia. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I don't know. He was just the one person here that I immediately, like, clicked with and became good friends with. I don't even know why. I... I randomly called him Babe. <laughs> That's why. Okay. That's funny, though. Um... What about, um, like, you still, like, talk to George and all that stuff, like, hang out with him and stuff, too? Or? Uh, not really. No. I mean, we, he'll talk, like, me and him will, you know, say, hey, what's up, whenever he's at, whenever he comes to my house, but that's about it. Yeah, because I haven't, I haven't really been able to be, well, hang out with George. It's not his fault or anything or like that, but it's been, like, First off, I'm, like, busy all the time now, and also because... That's a bullshit lie. Shut up. No. And you also because I'm like, New Year's... Here's New Year's Eve. George, do you want to come to my house? He's like, no, because you're sick. I'm like, who cares? Next week, I can't remember what happened. I wouldn't want to come to your house if you were sick either. <laughs> well, Steven's sick right now. And then... You, so? And then one week later, um, I think it was one week later, his, um... His granddad passed away or whatever, so he didn't. He wasn't able to come to my house or whatever. Oh. But that's what's been happening. Um, do you want? Do you like to see um, any of them come back for another match? Name them off again. Like anybody. Raven. You think so? I'd love to have a match with him. I, everyone wants to be honest. Um, he, I he's, I have never had a match with him. We. It was, I can't remember what missionary it was, but the first time I ever met him, I ended up uh, doing a spine bust. I hit him with a spine buster, and he landed on a giant ass rock. <laughs> and that is how we met. <laughs> That's funny, but um, actually, I don't know. I don't think you guys ever did wrestle, though, on camera. Nope. No, we never even had a practice yeah. match. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause that's, that's actually expect that, and I, cause I, I'm, st I'm, st I'm, it's easy for me to admit this. Like I used to be the biggest bitch of CWA. I know. Like I, I was, remember. The, I remember. I'm, I was the most hated, and um, I, I, I didn't hate you. What? I didn't hate you. But that was like. Just kidding. That was like before um. Definitely you hated you. Join. Yeah, it was like bef it was like way before you like you joined like. Cause I got, I kept getting mad and stuff, but it's like, like you gotta stick with the story. Like if you're having me feud with Steven, it has to be like a big time feud. Mm -hmm. Like that, that was why I was getting mad at that point, and also because it's like, well, I'm not doing really anything, but I kind of understand why now, around seven or eight, and it's, like the battle royal and stuff. It's like I had to get those because it's like I couldn't recover after losing that world title in July. But it's like. Look what happened with me, and it's gonna ha it happen with a lot of people actually. Like, yeah. look at um, let's see here, um, Chris for example, he used to suck. Look where he's then he now. Had, then he had a match with me. Look where he went then. What match? The I Quit match. Oh right yeah, before, that that match is hilarious. Right for twenty two, I believe. Yeah, that was a funny match. Um, did you enjoy being like the final champion or champions for like CWA? Like, I was. Yeah, you won, like, two titles. Oh. <laughs> I I don't remember. Do I got to punch you in the head to see if you get comes back in your head? No, that'll probably be my fourth concussion. Um, okay. Did you did you enjoy having those concussions, though? <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun because everybody always questioned, like, like, they knew why or how I got them, and they knew that I continued to wrestle afterwards, and... It was just a lot of fun, you know, listening to everybody complain about, you know, me wrestling injured, and, I mean, they got the fuck over it. Yeah. Do you remember each time you got the concussion, like, do you remember when it happened and how it did? 
Nevermore 1. Was that the first one? Mm-hmm. That was the first one. It was Nevermore 1. It was uh, the Battle Royal when we had both trampolines set up. Yeah, I remember that. I was over on the other one. Austin came through and speared me. When he speared me, oh, yeah, we, I we watched it. We watched it bad. Uh, I ended up slamming my head off the ground, and he kicked me in the back of the head, and I oh. hit him in the thigh. Oh, that happened. Yeah. And then what about the second time? Second, I'm not entirely sure. I, I can't remember what the second concussion was. DDT, Carter Woods. Thank you. Do you remember that one that, that happened? I don't remember that one. Uh, what about third? third one was the King of Hardcore match. Oh, where yeah. Where you recommended the second camera. <sighs> you know, Maniac. Just full force. I barely got it. I, like, turned the camera on. It's like, yeah. oh! <laughs> yeah, full force. Right on the top of my head. And then he, like, drops you. He set it down. And he, he, uh, he went to leg drop me and he slipped. And just put all of his weight down on on the washer lid and slid down my face. Uh, so you, was, wasn't there another one you said two or was that just that a, was all three? Oh, that was all three. Yeah. Okay. The DDT and from Carter we, Woods was the second. But then, one. what about your own? Just shorter thing that you told me about how that happened. Well, I didn't do that wrestling. Uh, my buddy uh, just kind of punched me in the shoulder and dislocated it about two years ago. Still he it it's still dislocated, so yeah. that that's fun. Um Did you ever get it checked out? Yeah. Yeah, that's a funny thing I did. They were like, Here's a sling and I went home and I couldn't play Xbox. I was like, There goes the sling. Bye. I'm guessing you threw it out then? Yeah. Uh man. Yeah, I, th- I threw the sling out because they Probably should have done that. I, I couldn't play Xbox with it on. You know, actually I think I might still have it now that I think about it. You always you, that it's your left one, right? You said, or was it your right? Left. Yeah. Okay, but you still got one other hand, so you can play with one hand. I can't play with one hand. Like I know hand? someone that plays with the controller upside down. Really? Mm-hmm. Who? Uh, buddy that I play with. He he. Uh, when he was younger, his hands were too small for the controller. Uh, so he had to play with it upside down in order the, to use it. Was it the um, original Xbox one where it had the big chunky controller? For, like the bigger guys, I think it was a Nintendo 64. Oh, the, the one with the um, one um, thumbstick or whatever it was. I think I don't remember. Yeah, because I remember those controllers were actually pretty big, uh, um, that, especially the Xbox one. And then they brought out the um, small Xbox version, and then that's when they've been used since. Now, the Xbox One version looks similar to the original, like big chunky one, but the difference is it's actually more comfortable and all that stuff. Yeah, like I actually like their controllers because it's actually comfy. Oh, I love it. Plus, I like the GameCube controllers too because they're actually comfy too. I like it has a GameCube like, in so long. I never had a GameCube. Really? Yeah, really. You are missing out. My cousin had one, and I wanted to get it off of him before because he. I think he was going to get rid of it, and he gets rid of it before I ask him if I want it. Wow. Like he got rid of all the games too. Like I could have had Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, I could have. I could have got that off of him. Um, I could have got this Mario Golf game off of him, even though I bought it later on. Um, my other cousin or whatever I think his sister she had some game I don't know some doll game it was called Bratz or something like that <laughs> some it, it was the game had like a red cover on it or something like that I can't remember for sure Um, they had a Legend of Zelda game I forget it had like the remix stuff on it it's, that computer needs to shut up uh, and then the um, there was a Donkey Kong game it had the bongos yeah, that game, like that, that game, they had that as well. I'm like, why couldn't I had that game? Those all those games, and he got rid of it, and I didn't get a chance to ask him, so I never got a GameCube. I hate but, people like that. But I had a, I had a Wii, I had a Wii, so I actually bought GameCube games since because compatibility. So I have like the Mario Golf game, like I have. I got some Madden games for it, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, um, SSX something like that, and some Nicktoons games. <laughs> I don't know for sure though, but did you grow up just with the GameCube or was that it? Because I was I grew up with the original Xbox. I grew up with the original PlayStation. I just recently found my PlayStation too. Never had one. Really? Yeah, I'm. Dead you being, are. Uh, I missed, missed out, out so much. I, I, I missed out too. George did too. He never had a PS2. 
Oh man, but I, we I had grew the original up with Xbox, a six, Nintendo sixty four, GameCube, Wii, uh, the original Xbox three sixty. Mm-hmm. I have a one now. We have two Xbox ones. I have a lot of Xbox ones in the house. Let me guess, four. Yep. Oh my God, I'm right. And a <laughs> PS three and a PS four. Four P- four PS fours. No, one PS four. Oh, one PS4 and four okay. PS3s? No, one PS3. Oh, okay. A PS3 and a PS4. Okay. And then I just recently found my PS2. I need a controller for it. Yeah. Well, I, um... I'm trying to think here. Um, did you ever, like, wanted to... Did you ever, like, consider getting rid of those consoles or not? No. Me neither. No. I don't the, have my I, GameCube anymore. Mm-hmm. My 64 my mom has in storage, so I gotta try to get that off of her. George has one too, I think. It's stuck at his niece's house. I think. I'm gonna find his house. I'm gonna break into it. You know where the um garage is in Muse? Where that purple garage? I, I don't know anywhere except from like my house to shop and save or to here. <laughs> oh my god. Or Claire's. I forgot about that. I think we have to erase your memory and get you a new one. Probably. Yeah. Like Use Google Earth. Use Google Earth if you don't know your geographies. <laughs> that uh, that's my recommendation to you. I love Google Earth. Google Earth captures some weird shit, man. Like I was seeing pictures of like Google Earth capturing like kidnappings and, and murders <laughs> and all that shit, dude. I heard a story one time where some girl I think found I think her boyfriend kissing some other girl and they broke up. Damn. I don't know how, but... That's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. I thought I, I heard a story like that before, and I'm like, what? It does Dude, capture I, some crazy stuff. Yeah, I, I love Google Earth. Now, I'm trying to think. Did they use some sort of, like, camera device van or whatever? Do you know? For Google Earth? Yeah. Satellite. Satell- oh, they just use a satellite up there, and then... Okay, because I thought they went around with the, um... One of those smart cars. I don't know if they do that or not. No, yeah, they, they use, uh... Google Earth... Yeah, I th- unless it's streepy, I don't remember what it was. Uh, but did you ever play anything on the computer before, like PC? Uh, not really. I mean, I've played a few. I've played a few games. I barely even touch my computer at this point. I have a I have a whole gaming setup. Okay. Like okay, so you do have a game? Do you have a YouTube channel or no? No. Did you ever consider making a YouTube channel? I have, and there are a few people. Well, there's. One person in particular has been begging me to start it up. Aiden? Yeah. Aiden St. John? Yeah. Do you want to say anything about Aiden St. John? That way he can orgasm? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, with without him, I don't think I would have I would have ever continued. Aiden would be so happy. I, I honestly him. don't think I would have ever continued without him, to be 100% honest. I said this to before. Do you, do you two want to have a hotel room together booked for a night? I'm good. <laughs> okay. You don't I, want any of that? I, I'm I'm good. I prefer my my home where my Xbox is at and where a lot of food is because you know free and jobless. Uh, you gonna get another job? I have one. I I haven't started yet, so technically I'm jobless. Uh. Why'd you, where'd you get hired at? Uh, Medicare. Up with Billy. Oh, okay. So you're with Billy now. Yeah. Okay, so you got, you're got you getting paid, do you know how much? Nine fifty an hour. Okay, that's how much Billy is too? Yeah, except uh, I get full-time. He's only part-time. Oh, uh, okay. Why? What's Billy doing? Uh, he's, in, he's in the kitchen, just putting food on trays and then doing dishes. Uh, is, do I have any doing the same thing? No, they have me doing laundry. Oh, okay. So, I mean, Why would you prefer to do that? I mean... Literally doing the same thing for eight hours, almost guaranteed over time. Uh, I I prefer to do that. Like, is it like? Do you? What about the people? Do you? I don't do, know. Did you experience being around them yet, or no? Uh, no, not really. I mean, my. I don't even know what it is to me. Um, I think it's my uncle. He works up there, so he's really the only person up there that, you know, I've met. 
So. But, uh, is that gonna, like, like, what brought you back into PGW, and then, yeah, what, what, what brought you back into PGW, like, now? I missed it. You missed it? Mm, I missed yeah. it a lot. I'm sorry I went off topic there, but I just wanted to ask you that. But I don't even know what the topic was. I, I asked you about um, where you work and stuff, but oh, yeah. but um, I was going to say, um, but what made you miss it? Um, just everything that, that we did. You know, I did it for so long after a little bit of not doing it at all. Yeah. Now do you plan on sticking to the end? Yeah. Nice. I plan on fucking shit up. Like, do you have any goals in mind that you want to accomplish? Kill people. With what? I still have my noose. Uh oh. Yeah, I still have my noose. Uh oh. There are a lot of things I can hang people from. Um, do you have that in mind? Kind of. Uh, we don't need any more deaths on camera. Who was the first one? Uh, Owen Hart, I think. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me guess, you didn't even know that exists until now. Nope. <laughs> I don't I don't pay attention to much. You know that. You've known me for how long? Probably since mid-2015. I don't know. It's, how long? it's been a yeah. long time. I don't know. Yeah, probably about a year, year and a half. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a long time. So. Yeah. Is there a... Um, oh, yeah, I want to ask you this, too. I don't know what your thoughts are on this. The girls. I mean, CWA-wise. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll let you go off if you want to again this is Depending on which girls we are talking about Any of them Candle Half guy Which one's half guy? Brooke Brooke, okay um, Slut Who's slut? Ellie Okay, oh wait, I should have known that But Blame me for doing coke So that that's a thing Um <laughs> Ghost. Pretty sure she hates me still. Uh, I don't remember all the girls. I'm trying to think. You said you said Skylar, you said Ellie, Brooke, Ghost, or whatever you said. Claire. Oh, that's Claire. Okay, I was, I was trying to think of Claire. Yeah. Um, Sierra. Who the fuck is Sierra? Uh, <laughs> Scarlet Wolf. I don't know if you know that. I don't know who the fuck she is. I have no idea who it is. I think Billy dated her before. Probably, but like I can't pull it. Up I have so many people asking me, like, "Do you hate Sierra?" I don't. Who is Sierra? Let me guess. It's not in your side. It's not in your brain. No. Oh. Who the fuck is Sierra? Uh, Billy's ex, my ex, Ginger. Ginger. I don't know who the fuck that is. Okay. Um, was there any other girls, I think? I don't remember for sure if there was any other ones. Um, oh, yeah. What's, uh, how about Ed's, um, what's Ed's girlfriend's name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn, you want to say anything about Jocelyn? I don't know her, but I just thought that. <laughs> um, she's fucking awesome. She <laughs> Cards Against Humanity last night. That was, that was enjoying. Emily, Daniel's girlfriend. Never met her. Oh, yeah, I forgot she didn't show up that day or whatever. I forgot. Yeah, I, n I never met her. Yeah. I heard she's ugly, though. Oh, uh, okay. But, I mean, that's just that's just me. I've only met her once, to be honest. kind of want to meet and the slut. The one, here's how I met her. She was staying on my trampoline with some random girls from the SEC club. Was they fucking? That I don't know. They was probably fucking. You, probably. There was probably about, I would say, maybe five, six, seven girls on a trampoline. Orgy! And she, I don't remember, she said hi to me or whatever, I don't remember what happened. It was your trampoline? And she's like, hey, I heard you're wrestling at um, CWA. <laughs> and I, I don't, that was how we first met. So I haven't really talked to her or, or on it since then. That was probably like a year or two and a half ago or something like that. I don't even know if she's still in it. I got asked. punched her in the face. Why? I mean, that is not her trampoline to be on. 
I mean, I already, we already rubbed my neck before. Plus, I had a trample before that flew over the... Um, she at uh, least give you a blowjob? No. Should have asked for one. Sluts tend to give in really easily. Any sluts that come to mind, even IRS, does there anything that come to mind? PGWCWA? A lot. Names? All of them. <gasps> he called you all sluts. And now Chris is sad. Why? Okay, here's a question. Why did you slap Chris in the back of the head? Because he's laying on the floor. Do you and Chris want to go at it? Me and Chris go at it. Okay. <laughs> By the way, he's your next week's episode. I guess Chris Reckless won that one. Dude, I think I gave a concussion. How do you feel now? It hurts. It hurts a lot. Do you think you have your, now your fourth concussion? Probably. Where are you at now? Stevens. Um, what's today's date? Third. Is Chris black or white? Purple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I guess you don't want to do that again. Huh. No. Mm -mm. Have you. Oh, here's a, here's an idea. Speaking of which. By the way, you can turn off the lights if you want to. But, um. I just thought it was because, um. Austin or whatever. You know how Austin <laughs> got into a fight before with the black guy? Yeah, he lost. Um. Did you ever get into a fight before? Like that? I've been in a lot. They just never lasted long enough to be like a fight like that. Like, do you have any cool stories? Do you want to share to the people? I broke a kid's jaw, hit him in the side or in the ribs so many times it collapsed his lungs, and I almost went to prison for murder. How old were you at the time? Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, anything, anything, something like that. Anything else? Hold on. Um. I went to I, I went to Kenmac for three weeks before I got suspended for punching a kid in the face. Uh, why was this? I don't know. Like three years ago? 2014? Oh, wait, no, I don't, th I don't know. I don't, actually, I don't think that's right because I would have been a sophomore or a freshman. Or, did you graduate? No, I'm senior. I graduated in a couple months. Okay, well, I was a sophomore at the time. Okay, so you probably... And I would have graduated this past so you, year. So you might have been there when I was, I don't know. 2013, so I guess that was before... Uh, yeah, probably. Um, what else? I got put on probation for punching a kid in the jaw for... I'm tired of waiting. Shut up. Hi, Mom. I don't know. Oh, you just almost ever scanned me for being... <laughs> no? Why don't you know this? What? We bring to you Stephen Schmeier. What a wonderful story time. <laughs> Mom, tell us a story. Shut up. <laughs> That's rude. Uh, Love you. So who's your mommy? I don't know. I don't like her. But um, anyway, what else were you going to mention? You bound you were saying something else, I think. Oh, um, I got put on probation for punching a kid in the jaw for asking him why he had a black eye. Uh, I gave George a black eye before because we ran to each other head first. He got another black eye after that. Uh, and then I gave George another black eye for elbow, elbow dropping him into his eye in one of the matches. I guess that's what George told me. I guess. So I um, guess I'm, I'm one reckless autistic kid. Kind of. My bus driver gave me a high five after punching a kid in the face. 
Like, <laughs> like six times. I got off the bus. She was like, hey, high five. Have you ever used a weapon on anyone and hit someone with it? No. Did you ever spank someone in the bum bum? Spank someone in the bum bum? You want to bend over? I can tell you. You want to demonstrate? You deserve to get... I just watched my ass get slapped on the screen. Oh, oh. I'm gonna elbow you in the head. Nope, nope, this way, this way. This is okay. such a, this right. is such a, this way? Face the wall. TV 14, um, story time. Beer description mm -hmm. advised. I hit me the wrist, too. Oh, I got hit in the wrist again. You're a good sport. You're a good man. Okay. Thank you. It wasn't that bad. I got hit in the wrist. Let's play in, in this game. Let's, it's called, well, simple. Story time. Any stories you want to tell? Let's begin, I guess. Once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. <laughs> um, well, for one, uh, <laughs> it's actually really, really funny. Uh, my dad ended up putting me through a window. Okay. That was... Keep it going. I ended up walking to uh, Walgreens and buying butterfly stitches and stitching it up myself. <laughs> okay. After stealing money from... Steal money from your daddy. Mm -hmm. That's meanie weenie. Matt! <laughs> um... I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what else. I don't know what other stories. Well, that was one short story, I guess. Yeah, I've been hitting the head too many times to remember stories. Um, the end, I guess. But um, who do you actually enjoy wrestling? Who do I enjoy wrestling? Yeah. The most that would have to be Grip Dick. Grip Dick or Akuma? Horse wrestler you faced. Horse wrestler. Apollo. <laughs> Guess what? That technically means Chris Reckless. No, I mean, I know, when, I mean when he was Apollo. That was yeah. It it was fun to beat the shit out of him, but. And what was your favorite match? That favorite you, match that you've been a part of. Oh, Sadus match for sure. Which one? The second one. Okay, so the one I wrapped. Yeah. And then, what's your favorite match overall? That I've, out of everything. Yeah, and, and on PGW or CWA. Oh, that's a hard one. I was gonna say, I always change my opinions. I don't know why, but oh, that's a that's a hard one. I don't I don't know. Like, I'll just I'm not gonna say my favorite, but like if I had to pick like, all right, CWA, my favorite is Beers of Chaotic. But if you pick, if I had to say PGW, I hated that match. Why? Because they suck. I was okay with the match, but my yeah, favorite they're, P they're awful. My PGW but. match. My PG dub, my favorite PGW match, it would have to be either Beers versus Diablo from 29, or it would have to be Reckless and Kumi from 25. I enjoyed I, the. I love 25's match to be honest. I, I like the Akumu. Uh, I I kind of feel I probably should have voted for that for match of the year, but I didn't. No, it didn't deserve match of the year, but. I I, I probably should have. It, it didn't deserve match of the year, but it it was a fun match. That was the vote that made me lose, asshole. Sorry. Um. Uh, is there um? What's your favorite WWE or TNA or any elsewhere? What's your favorite <laughs> match of all time? I've been asked this. I I don't know. I don't know. It's the greatest match of all time, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <gasps> I'm I'm not entirely sure. There. I I don't know. Actually, I think it'd have to be an Elimination Chamber. I've always loved. Which one? Just any of them. I've always loved them. Not too sure why, but how did you feel that John Cena tied Ric Flair's world title record? Um, to be a hundred percent honest, I almost threw my phone across the room and <coughs> bucked the shit out of a brick wall. Ironic is because someone just did it. No, I did it. <laughs> okay. No, nope, there's someone else. Anybody else? I gotta keep this in mind. Okay. But, um, do you want him to break 17? Hmm? Do you want him to break 17 reigns? No. No, I. 
<laughs> he didn't even deserve. He didn't even deserve five. Uh, who do you think should win more world titles? WWE. Dean. Dean. Dean Ambrose. Okay. Powerbeam. <laughs> okay. Um. Did. Do you think what do you think of wrestling be- now <laughs> than what it is in the past? Oh, it's shit. <coughs> you want to talk about how it's shit? It. Everybody's too afraid to take everything. You know, there were there were barbed wire bats, thumbtacks, all that fire. There's CCW. There, there's that, yeah. But you know, they're all the way in New Jersey. They don't travel. Yeah. Something I actually thought about is WWE. I don't know if it's. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm the only one, but they should have an off season. Like, yeah. Like a one month break. Like I think the best month for them to would to do that would be like December, so they could spend time with like their families and stuff like that. Um, speaking of families, do you ever consider PGW or CW your family? Yeah. Like second family. Yeah. Everybody except um, Chris Reckless. Lunatic. He's your and and Lunatic. What's your thoughts on Lunatic? Grandma. <laughs> Anything else? Dead. Dead. Anything else? Stroke. Anything else? Herpes. Anything else? No. Okay. Maybe. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about PGW CWA before we begin the final conversation of the episode? I rolled on a B once. <laughs> okay. It stung me. Owie. Ouch. Okay. I don't even remember how it happened. Now we are going to begin. We begin this in the last week's episode with Nova and Nova. And now we're doing, <coughs> we are playing here right now the same questions as follows. We're playing the conclusion. The what? The conclusion. What the fuck is that? I'm going to give you ten um, questions, and you're going to answer them. Are they multiple choice? <laughs> no. <coughs> What the fuck kind of test is this? You ready? Sure. Favorite color? Herpes. <laughs> Favorite band? AIDS. Favorite PGW or CWA wrestler? Syphilis. <laughs> Favorite video game? Cancer. Favorite TV show? Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Favorite movie? Gun Herp, Skanky Bitch, Come Goes, and Thunder Cunt, Dick Eating, Dumpster Whore. PGW or CWA? PGW. <laughs> Missionary or Nevermore? What the fuck kind of question is that? Answer the question, mister. We are not bringing back Nevermore. Please? We are not bringing back Nevermore. Hashtag. Why would we ruin, why would we ruin that name? Hashtag bring back Nevermore one more time. Have a shitty event. There goes the name. Why? Cause fuck this match two times in the, two times in a day. <coughs> two of the greatest wrestlers of all time walk off the match. Lol. Trump or Clinton? Bush. <laughs> um. And final question: When it's, when you want what do you want to remember when it's all said and done? With it, when it comes to like PGW or CWA? Sex. <laughs> Drugs. That sounds bad. Alcohol. That sounds really bad. Fat people. Skinny people. What, about, what about little people? No little people. Why not little people? I don't like little people. Um, what about big people? Meh. Meh? Meh. Anything else you want to say before we end the episode? I ate a child once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, this was actually pretty fun. And going, welcome back to PGW. Even though we're, even though we're on the Miles Burger channel. Um, this has been Storytime Episode 10. The next episode will be with Mr. Fatass. Chris Reckless. Now, we are going to end this video the way Bailey always does it.
Anyway, thank you guys for watching.